Hey everybody, um, so this is the first vlog in a series of many, many that I'm sure I'll be doing that will follow the trials, tribulations, successes, and whatnot of a guy trying to make it as a successful musician in today's uh, new media world. That guy being me, Brian Botkiller. You can catch me at brianbotkiller.com, right down there. Um, for those who don't know, I am an electronic musician. When I say electronic musician, I'm not a DJ. A lot of people think I'm a DJ. I'm not a DJ. I don't drop records. I don't do any of that stuff. I'm learning how to DJ um, from some good friends because I know it's a skill I should have, but I'm not a DJ. Uh, I use electronic tools and even not electronic tools to make music uh, electronically, that is to say, on my laptop, this machine right here, this little Mac that's hung with me so far, uh, I use synthesizers. Well, this is kind of more of a crappy MIDI keyboard, but anyway, I use these. And uh, beyond that, I also use, sorry, anyway, uh, you know, things like Game Boys and whatever else, uh, software, Whatever. I use anything at my disposal to make the music that is stuck in my head and uh, get it out to the masses in whatever way that I can. I've been doing it now for about eight years straight um, in various projects. I've been doing it solo for about six and a half years. Um, and in addition to doing it solo, I also work with a couple of very talented bands, one being Diverge. You can see us at dsbp.cx slash diverge um, right there and um, diverge is an industrial uh, act industrial being the meshing of electronic music and rock and roll pretty much uh, very kmfdm-esque if you've never heard there they are kmfdm um, and uh, Diverge is fronted by my good friend Tommy T, uh, who's had the project for many, many years and just came to me just a short while ago, about three years ago, and asked me if I would be his live drummer. Um, and I said yes, and I've gotten a lot of gigs with Diverge, uh, which, has, which has been a great, uh, great progression for me in my musicianship. Um, the other project that I'm currently involved with is Vertigo Venus at vertigovenus.com. Um, Vertigo Venus consists of Chris and Jeff Cannon, um, or rather that used to be the only two members in the band. Um, Chris and Jeff came out here from Detroit a number of years ago, became part of the Albuquerque music scene, and uh, more recently recruited some live members. Um, uh, before it was only Jeff on keyboards and Chris on guitars, and they had a drum machine, and then they branched out. and. Uh, got our friend Ken Cornell on bass and Buddy on secondary keyboards and ran their drum machine and then they came to me recently and they said, hey, do you want to be our live drummer? And I said, yeah. And uh, now more recently they've asked me to be part of their band, an official part of their band, which is very cool. Um, Chris and Jeff also play in Diverge with me. Um, their respective instruments, obviously, guitar and keyboards. And... Uh, so, you know, we all work in the same scene, we all do a lot of the same work, and we're all working our butts off to be successful musicians. Um, so, when I say successful musician, uh, you know, a lot of people think that's not really possible. How do you get to be a successful musician? Well, Kanye West gets to do it, all these other guys get to do it. They're successful musicians. Now, what do they have that maybe I don't or that any of these other bands don't? I don't think they really have anything that we don't. Um, in some cases, they are just in the right place at the right time. And that is sort of how you end up getting to be extremely popular and famous. That's true. Um, the other way you get that is being really, really, really talented. But talent doesn't always get you to where you are. Um, I think a big part of it, uh, something that I've... Uh, maybe convinced myself of, but also been convinced of in the past uh, year or so now, is specifically deciding that you want to be a successful musician. Um, I think that if you want something, you know, you have to decide that you want it. You have to tell the universe that you want it. You can't just say, oh, I want this, and it'll just happen. That that doesn't happen. That's You can't just pray for something and it just shows up. Sorry, that's my own belief. People might disagree with me, but I just don't see it. You gotta decide you want it, and then you gotta work on it. And so, 
that is what I'm doing. That is what I'm insisting on with anybody that I'm involved with right now, that we make the decision to be successful. And being successful doesn't mean we have to be on stage all the time. Um, I'm interested in music licen licensing. I'm interested in composing for film, video games, uh, anything in between. Um, you know, the, the whole thing that's coming up with music now that is much more a truth than ever is that the the fame of music, the crux of being in the music business is not just the music, it's everything that's built around the music now. And, and that means that you have the music, but you also have your web presence and you have where you get your music licensed to and, and who listens to it and how and whatever else. All of these things come together really to make uh, someone who gets to be a successful musician and um, you know you, you get to be a successful musician by doing a lot of those things and deciding that you want that I think and there's a lot of successful musicians who are not on the road all the time and aren't releasing hundreds of records uh, you know guys like David Byrne and Simon Fisher Turner are the kind of guys that I look up to you know they um, they've run record labels or run record labels um, they compose for music, or rather they compose for film, for, uh, you know, uh, video games, whatever. They do sound design. Simon Fisher Turner does a lot of sound design for, uh, for movies. You know, he makes the cracks and the pops and all that kind of stuff that happen in films. Um, you know, anything like that to me is being a successful musician. Um, I'm already a little bit there on being a successful musician. I've been really lucky. I right now I work with uh, software synthesizer companies testing their software sense and making sounds for those synthesizers. I also do tutorial videos and overview videos and things like that. Um, one of the companies I, I uh, work with sometimes is Key2 Sound at key2sound.com. You can check them out. Um, I do some work for them. Um, now, obviously, being a contract, uh, you know, worker. I, you know, I work for the money that I can get. I don't have a specific employment to say, um, but I, I, I've managed to do pretty well. I have consistent contracts holding up, which is very good, and I'm extremely thankful for that. And I want to be able to hang on to that. I want to keep doing that. Uh, but like I say, I also want to create a good career for myself out of music. And as I say, that doesn't mean I need to be on stage all the time. Um, I'm very interested in all the other aspects that come with uh, making music and doing it professionally. And I don't see why, if I want to do that, uh, I should not be able to do that. There's a lot of people out there doing it who, I hate to tell you, are not very good at it. Bands like the Gym Class Heroes and guys like that are not very good musicians. They can do what needs to be done, but they're not really doing anything that in the long run I think is going to be remembered. Your view may differ, and that's perfectly fine, but... I don't think it's very good music, but, you know, hey, props to them. They're managing to make music and make money doing it. I can't argue with that. I need to learn from that. I need to learn what they're doing and how they're doing it in some ways. Um, and, uh, you know, so if I say that I can do it, I think that I should be able to say that I can do it. Obviously, if you want to be a guitarist, you have to learn how to play the guitar, and if you really don't know how, you're going to have some troubles. Although, you know, let's figure even a lot of the guys out there who are really popular right now, they are not very good at what they're playing, and they manage to make a lot of money doing it. So, you know, maybe it's all just luck of the draw, maybe it's not. But I think a big part of it is saying that this is what you want, and this is what you want to do. So I'm going to do that. And uh, I've decided this in the past year or so, and I'm just pushing on it as much as I can. So... Anyway, um, you know, thanks for watching this, and if you think that uh, anybody you know would be interested in this, if there's anybody else out there who you know who is doing something like this or whatever else and has input or, uh, you know, needs some advice or whatever else, I do know a lot when it comes to being a musician and working in the music business. I've been doing it for a very long time now, and um, as I say, I just want to push the level of being successful at it. So, um you can check me out at brianbotkiller.com. You can email me there. You can check out the MySpace and all that good stuff. Subscribe and, uh, you know, just stay tuned and we'll see what else happens. You might catch me on some really, really off days when I say all this is bullshit and I don't know how I'm doing this. And then you might catch me on days when I'm just doing great and things are really rocking along. Um, that's the way these things go. I'm just looking for a good, uh, you know, 
final um, outcome of everything. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see what happens.